Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to calculate the total load on RCC slab. That how much is the total load acting on the RCC slab? Reinforced cement concrete slab. So how to find this? I will do it in a very simple and easy way. So here consider the height or the depth of the slab is for example 125 millimeter for this slab. The width of the slab is 3000 millimeter and the length of the slab is 4000 millimeter. So the total load acting on this slab will be equal to the dead load acting on the slab plus the live load. Now first we are going to find out dead load and then we can find out the live load. Now the dead load is again dividing into two parts. The dead load is sulfate, sulfate of slab and plus the floor finish load. So I will show you how we can find out these things. So this is A and this is B. So now we are going to start first of all with the dead load and with the sulfate. So to find out the sulfate, sulfate of the slab, it's very really easy how you just multiply the volume of the slab, multiplying with the density of the concrete used in the slab. Now the density of the concrete, reinforced concrete is a known which is 25 kilonewton per cubic meter. This is a known fact. So you just multiply the volume of the slab with the density. The volume of the slab is length multiply width multiply with the height of the slab, multiplying it with the density which is 25 kilonewton per cubic meter. Now the length is 4 meter or 4000 millimeter. I do it in meter. Width is 3000 millimeter or 3 meter. And the height is 0 0.125 here this one meter multiplying it with the density kilonewton 25 kilonewton per cubic meter so we got here the value of sulfate of the slab of 37.5 kilonewton so this is the sulfate now the second one we would find out the floor finish so how to do this so i just have to so now the second one is the floor finish for the floor finish how we can find out the weight of the floor finish so this is also very simple we have to multiply the area of the slab multiplying it with the weight of floor finish weight of floor finish per square meter now keep in mind that the weight of the floor finish per square meter is a fixed value and it is usually in structure design taken is 1.5 kN per square meter. It is the weight of the tile or some other material used in the floor. So this is the standard value of. Now the area of slab, we know that the length and the depth, the length and the width of the slab is 4000 and 3000 millimeter. So we will find out the area of the slab here. 3 meter multiply with the 4 meter multiplying it with the weight of the floor finish per square meter which is 1.5 kilonewton per square meter so here the meter square the meter meter will be cancelled so we'll get only the weight of the floor finish which comes out to be 18 kilonewton so now what we can write it here the total dead load here we find out the total dead load the sulfate and the floor finish so what is this? I can write it here. The total dead load is equal to the sulfate plus the floor finish. So sulfate comes out to be 37.5 plus 18 is the floor finish load 10 kilonewton. So here we get the value of 55 55.5 kilonewton is the total dead load acting on this slab. Now 
the, the second step if you remember was the live load now we find out the dead load we have to find out the live load acting on this slip so how to do this it is also very simple we just have to keep in mind that the live load the second one the live load acting on the slip is equal to the area of the slip multiplying it with the the weight of multiplying it with the weight of live load per square meter and keep in mind that this value this value in structure design is mostly taken as 4 kN per square meter it also depends on the codes for example in euro code there are table provided where depends on your slab for example it is a balcony slab it is a main slab or it is a building structure hall slab so depend on this this load varies so you have to find out the weight of live load in your code there are different kind of tables provided in each code so you have to take out this weight of live load in per square meter from this table i take it for because i'm using it as a general value so now multiplying the area of the slab area of the slab was 4 meter if you remember multiplying with the 3 meter 4 meter was the length of the slab 3 meter was the width of the slab multiplying it with the weight of the live load which is 4 kN per square meter so we got here the value of 48 kN this is the live load now the total load will be equal to the total load will be equal to the dead load plus live load dead load was 55.5 kN and dead load was and the live load is 48 kN so if we add these two values we got 103.5 kN this is the total load acting on the reinforced concrete slab so hope you guys understand how to find out the total load on on the reinforced concrete slab and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video